Hey guys, it's Sunem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So I went to Ulta and I picked up some goodies. So, you know, we don't have Ulta here in the UK. So I took the advantage of going to Ulta and picking up like just makeup, just picking up a bunch of stuff that I wouldn't have the opportunity to pick up here. So yeah, Ulta Beauty Haul. I have so many good things to share with you guys and we are just going to dive straight into it. I don't know how much I spent, I'll have to put it on the screen, but I definitely know it's probably more than $200, so I did do a Sephora haul as well, I don't know if that one's up already or if this one's going to be up first, so just stick around on my channel, there's going to be a Sephora haul up already, if it's not up already. So yes, this is the Ulta haul, let's dive straight into it. So the first thing I picked up from Ulta, I only went to one Ulta in New York and to be fair it was a little bit disappointing because a lot of things were out of stock, it was just like the shelves were half empty, it just was very disappointing, but I managed to get what I could. So the first thing I picked up is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Light Pink. We have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder here in the UK, but we don't have the shade Light Pink. We only have Light Medium and Tan or Dark. And so the Light Pink, I have been eyeing because it's just like that whole Light Pink under eye trend that everyone is going for. And I wanted to try it out with the Halo Glow Powder because you guys know I absolutely love the Light Halo Glow Powder, which I use all the time. So to get a pink version, and it's not even that pink, it's just like a nice, a really nice light pink shade. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it's got a little bit of a pinkiness to it. So I cannot wait to try this underneath the eyes. I hope it's not going to be too pink. So that is the first thing. Next, I picked up, um, this one I actually picked up in uh, like a drugstore, but I'm just going to chuck it in here because you can actually get this in also as well. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector Glowy 4-in-1 makeup so this is basically a kind of a dupe for the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter and this is just a glowy version a gl like a, well not a glow version but like a drugstore version of it and it's glowy it's, it's supposed to be illuminating but it's still supposed to give you coverage and a tint of color as well on your skin like to give you a little bit of coverage it does have a cushion uh, tip as well. So I'm not going to open this because I will be testing it out in a video But I picked up the lightest shade which is 00 fair light and to be fair it still looks really dark unless There's not much coverage then that'll be fine, but let's see how it's gonna be But I don't know if you guys will be able to tell there's a lot of like pearliness in the product It looks very illuminating. So I can't wait to test that one out They also included a Colourpop Colourpop mint like little a clear makeup bag because I spent a lot so that's nice to have as well and also it says Colourpop which I love it's not just like a plain makeup bag so that they included speaking of Colourpop I did pick up the nude mood eyeshadow palette because I have been on the hunt for like a affordable and drugstore eyeshadow palette that's travel friendly and that pretty much just I can use every single day and I don't really have one in my collection so the nude mood looked really really nice and I think Juicy Jazz here on YouTube I think she uses this and she loves it so yeah nude mood and this is I'll put it back together. I'm determined. I am putting that back together. But this is what it looks like. It obviously must have uh, broke broke in during the flight. But these are the neutral tones. And then it did have a light shimmery shade, which was literally my favorite shade in the palette. But either way, it's fine. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Super beautiful, warm tones, neutrals, some mix of uh, two shimmers now and some mattes. So yeah, I'm going to have to put that back together oh my god that is such a pretty shade as well it's like a golden pink oh my god it's oh that's such a shame but next i also picked up from fourth ray the strawberry face milk so i already have the watermelon one but i wanted to pick up the strawberry one because i love these this is actually ColourPop's sister brand so this is the strawberry face milk and these are basically just like moisturizers you can use them as skincare you can use it underneath foundation as a primer or base and they all do different things um this one i think is just supposed to be like moisturizing nourishing brightening that kind of stuff so yeah i picked up the strawberry one and it probably smells really good of strawberry oh my god it does well 
Yeah, it does. It's like strawberry milkshake or something. So I picked up that one. And next I got two palettes from Essence. This one kind of matches today. This is the I Like To Move It Move It eyeshadow palette from Essence. These were literally $3.99. You cannot go wrong with it. Okay, it has a seal, but I took the seal off and that's what it looks like. So beautiful mauve tones, lilacs, some shimmers, some mattes. I absolutely love the little like pocket size palettes. Um, and then I also picked up bronzed this way. So bronze this way is obviously a warm toned version of it. Take off the thing. <gasps> I just dug my nail into it. What is going on today? I literally just dug my nail into it and I've ruined it. But this is what it looks like. So yeah, this is a bronzy one and it's super pretty. It has like a light gold, a nice chocolate bronze, a little bit of a pinky bronze and then the mattes as well. So yeah. This, again, on the go, on holiday, it's just great to have. I also picked up from e.l.f. the um, Complexion Duo. So this I have been seeing everywhere, and we don't have this in the UK again, which is, like, why don't we have it? It's just so weird. It's literally just a brush, but they never bring it to the UK. So this is the one that I'm seeing everyone use, which is, like, double-ended, where it has, like, a concealer brush on this side. And then this side is the foundation brush. So I can't wait to just use it for foundation, but then flip it over, maybe do my concealer or like get in between the brows, that kind of stuff around the nose. So um, yeah, it's just, it looks like a really great little foundation concealer brush. So this is the one that everyone loves. I wish I got two just in case, but never mind. I'll probably go back to the States. Hopefully by the end of the year again. I also picked up from Essence another Lash Princess uh, mascara. I already have one that hasn't run out yet, but I always need one because it's become my favorite mascara now. So yeah, this is the uh, Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara from Essence. I think last thing from Essence is the blush that I picked up. So I already have one again, but I have one in a different shade and this one is called Believing. And Believing is like a beautiful, oh my God, like berry lavender pink. Oh my god, it honestly looks like just the perfect purpley pink blush. And you guys know I love my purpley pink blushes. So yeah, this is just a vibe, even with this outfit. But yeah, the blush... Well, let's swatch it. I hope it's as nice as it looks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Again, just a really nice flush of like this berry pink it's super pretty not too pinky not too deep i also picked up this which i saw was new um it wasn't from ulta it was actually from again a drugstore or no sorry i think it was from target that i picked this up but i just chucked it in here so this is the nyx ultimate glow shots brightening liquid eyeshadow these are new i've literally not seen anyone and i see everything online all new releases. I have not seen these online from anyone. So these are NYX Liquid Shadows Glow Shots. Let me give you a little close-up. Glow Shots from NYX. These are new and they had a ton of shades. I picked up, of course, the more like metallic pink icy one with some gold duochrome running through it. And this is in the shade Grapefruit Glow. I will be testing this out um, on my eyes in a video, but the glow shots from NYX, I've never seen these or heard of these. They're basically just liquid eyeshadows. So yeah, I just wanted to get one to try. I think they're $10. Grapefruit Glow is the one I got. Next from Ulta, I had to pick up another Tarte Shape Tape, but unfortunately, the shade that I always go for, which is Light Sand, it wasn't there whatsoever and not just sold out, it like didn't exist. So I don't know if they discontinued the shade Light Sand. So I actually had to opt for the shade Light, which still pretty much looks like my Light Sand, just a little bit lighter and less yellowy. <laughs> so I guess it probably doesn't look the same, but it's, I don't know, it's such a shame they didn't have Light Sand. If you guys know if that shade has been discontinued and you, you, you know, you live in America and you've never seen that shade, for a long time, do let me know because Light Sand was my favourite from the um, Tarte Shape Tape, but I had to opt for the shade Light. So that's the one I picked up, if you guys can see. It definitely does look quite light. I can't tell if it's like a neutral tone. It kind of looks a little neutrally. 
but I hope it's going to be fine for my skin tone. I think it should be. So that's in the shade Light. And then also from Ulta Beauty, this is the um, Lustrous Foil Eyeshadows. I have three of these already. I've raved about these before on my channel. These are the most underrated um, products that I've, you know, that I've um, ever come across. They are so underrated. And these are basically just flaky, glittery, metallic eyeshadows. They are super flaky, so not a lot of people would probably like that. I picked it up in the shade Pink Leaf to add to my collection because I have, I think, Silver Leaf, Bronze Leaf. I think I have Rose Gold Leaf. So now I have the Pink Leaf, which is basically just a more deeper, like, copper, pink, rose, metallic. I'm sorry. These are... Look at that. That is the eyeshadow. These are the most intense, intense intense foiled metallic creamy silky eyeshadows that i have ever come across and then i also picked up some rem beauty products because i had to you guys know i love rem beauty which is ariana grande's makeup line sorry is that distracting so i picked up two of the on your color lip glosses pump plumping lip glosses and then a highlighter everything else that i wanted the liquid shadows, the new lipsticks that she came out with, the um, oils that she came out with, lip oils, everything was sold out. And I did a shop with me. Um, I don't know if, the, again, that's going to be up first or if it's going to be after this video, but the Ulta shop with me, I think it's probably going to be up on my channel already, so check my channel. I think that will be up first. But that, um, in that video, you guys will see that everything was literally sold out. I picked up the Interstellar Highlighter Topper in the shade Miss Mercury. I already have Miss Venus, which is a really light gold, um, like yellow gold. And then Miss Mercury, this is what it looks like. These are just highlighters. Miss Mercury is like a peachy pink. This is like a beautiful, look at that. <gasps> what would you even call that? Icy peach? Highlight. Okay, let's see. This might be the most beautiful highlighter. Oh my God, how many times can I say that? But look at that. It just almost doesn't really give you color. It just gives you like this instant warm glow. <gasps> oh my God, I cannot wait to use that. I cannot wait to try all of these out in a video. So yeah, that is just like a warm glow. Almost has no color. It just looks like a glow. That is incredible. If you have uh, fair skin, definitely get Miss Mercury. Then the two on your collar lip glosses that I picked up, Pink Razor, which I've been eyeing for some time. This is the Pinky Gloss. And this is what it looks like. How pretty is that? A beautiful, like, neutral baby pink. And I love, I love, love, love these glosses. So I got that one. And then I also picked up a really interesting shade. This one is called Chucky. Chucky is a lavender gloss. Like a galactic space, it's like space duochrome gloss. So yeah, it's super, super, super fun. Blue, purple, silver, pink. Oh my God, look at that an iridescent purple blue gloss goodness and then I will swatch I mean these look 10 times better in person because this looks a lot more blue and purple in person whereas on camera it's washing out let's swatch pink razor the pink that is pink razor right there beautiful beautiful natural nude pink and then you've got that little crazy iridescent one there so these are just super creamy they are not sticky and they just plump up the lips they look super gorgeous let's put the pink razor on oh yeah oh yeah look at that shade should we put a tiny bit of the purple too i love it it's so subtle Oh, look at my lips. It's tingling now, but it's so pretty. Mm, love, love, love it. So definitely get one of these glosses. Next, I picked up, what's this? I don't even know. Oh, it's a ColourPop um, 
Fresh Kiss Lip Cream. I literally forgot what I got. So this is the lip creams from Colourpop and I got the shade BB Spice. Love that name. And these are just like, again, like creamy liquid lipsticks, but that kind of moussey, velvety, silky formula. So this is what it looks like. I've also been eyeing this for some time. These are supposed to be like just creamy, oh yeah, velvety, like lip products. Kind of reminds me of that Patrick Ta Silky lip cream or the Makeup by Mario ones, but yeah, it has that same like super silky, oh, that's a beautiful shade. Super silky, creamy formula, not drying. It feels really, really, really moisturizing and creamy as it's going on. And that shade just looks really nice. So kind of like what I have on right now. So yeah, this one is BB Spice. I did think it was gonna be a little more brown, but it's pretty much true to almost, yeah, true to how it looks in the packaging. So that one is the Fresh Kiss uh, Lip Creams from Colourpop. I think these were $9. I think last but not least for my Ulta haul are these two products. So I picked up the, also from Ulta, so Ulta's own brand, uh, the Ulta Beauty Tinted Juice Infused Lip Oil. Because I couldn't get the Ren Beauty one, I opted for this. This is in Bougie Beige, and it's basically just a lip oil that's tinted, and it's, again, like a beautiful beige pink color. This is what it looks like, the lip oil in Bougie Beige from Ulta and nice doe for applicator. Oh, that is pretty pigmented for a lip oil. It feels a little sticky, I won't lie. If, if I'm honest, it feels like a lip gloss. It doesn't feel, it looks nice and shiny and oily, but it doesn't feel like an oil. It feels very almost tacky, sticky. So I don't think it's going to have the formula of a lip oil. I genuinely don't think it will. I think it's more of like a tinted lip gloss. So that's a little bit of a shame just upon first impressions. But the shade is beautiful either on its own, on top of a lipstick. I definitely can't wait to, to try this out. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful light shade. But it definitely feels more like a lip gloss than an actual oil. Even though it looks super glossy and shiny. It definitely reflects like a, a lip oil would but it also just looks like a gloss so i don't know but next this is the last essence product and also the last product of the haul this one i have been eyeing again juicy jazz raves about this um on in her videos but it looks quite dark i don't know did i pick up the wrong shade or well, i think this is the one but this is the essence pure nude highlighter we don't have this in the uk and this one is in the shade number 10 be my highlight and this to be honest looks a bit dark so i don't know i don't know it looks too dark it looks like though it's a really glowy baked highlighter like it looks like it's i can already see the the reflection but it looks really tan yeah this i think is only going to be for medium skin tones. This would be a beautiful highlighter if you were uh, darker than me, but I can already see this is a really dark highlight. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Well, it is a little, like it has some color to it. So it's definitely maybe going to show a little bit of a color right here um, because it definitely has that color, but it is a beautiful, almost like ethereal glow highlighter oh and it does blend into the skin you can still see it has a little bit of a tint of color but maybe if i dust it very lightly rather than concentrating it concentrating it then i think it could i can pull it off as just looking really ethereal and glowy on the skin rather than like beaming a nice natural glow and it's literally a glow with no sparkle so i love 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 that about it but that is pretty much it for my Ulta haul I literally love every single thing that I picked up um, and I can't wait to test them out in videos let me know if you guys own any of these products if you've tried them out before or if you haven't and you're going to add them to your list as well and I hope you guys really did enjoy this Ulta haul I cannot wait to go back to America again and go back to Ulta uh, hopefully soon end of the year or next year again um and just spend a lot more and there'll be new products out by that time so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did comment down below everything what your thoughts i hope everyone is staying safe and until next time i'll speak to you guys all in my next video